Hey there, food enthusiasts. It's Dale here from Press to Cook, and today I've got an exciting and super practical video for you all. We are diving into the ultimate guide to finding and changing your Whirlpool fridge water filter. Yes, that's right. We're going to make sure your water and ice stay fresh and clean all while having a blast doing it. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome kitchen tips, tricks and delicious recipes. You won't want to miss out on any of the fun. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. First things first, why is it important to change your fridge water filter regularly? Well, over time your filter can get clogged with all sorts of impurities like chlorine, lead and other contaminants. Not only can this affect the taste of your water and ice, but it can also be harmful to your health. So changing your filter every six months is a great rule of thumb to keep everything running smoothly. Now let's talk about finding the right filter for your Whirlpool fridge. Whirlpool has a variety of filters and it can be a bit overwhelming to figure out which one you need. But don't worry, I've got you covered. The easiest way to find the right filter is to check your fridge's model number. You can usually find this inside the fridge on a sticker or a metal plate. Once you have the model number, you can look it up online or in your user manual to find the exact filter you need. Another pro tip, keep an eye out for the part number on your old filter. Most filters will have a part number printed on them and you can use this to find a replacement. If you're still unsure, Whirlpool's website has a handy filter finder tool that can help you out. All right, now that we've got our new filter, it's time to change it. First, locate your filter. In most Whirlpool fridges, the filter is located either in the upper right-hand corner of the fridge compartment or behind the base grill at the bottom of the fridge. If it's in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a small cover that you'll need to open to access the filter. If it's behind the base grill, you'll need to remove the grill to get to the filter. Once you've located your filter, it's time to remove the old one. For filters in the upper right hand corner, simply twist the filter counterclockwise to release it. For filters behind the base grill, push the release button and pull the filter out. Make sure to have a towel handy as there might be a bit of water that comes out when you remove the filter. Now grab your new filter and remove any protective caps or seals. For filters in the upper right hand corner, line up the notches and twist the filter clockwise until it's securely in place. For filters behind the base grill, simply push the filter into the slot until you hear a click. Once your new filter is in place, it's important to flush it before use. This helps remove any air and loose carbon particles from the filter. To do this, run water through the dispenser for about 5 minutes or until the water runs clear. You might notice some sputtering or air bubbles at first, but that's totally normal. And there you have it folks. You've successfully changed your Whirlpool fridge water filter and you're all set for fresh, clean water and ice. Remember to mark your calendar for six months from now so you know when it's time to change the filter again. If you found this guide helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Press to Cook for more awesome content. And if you have any questions or tips of your own about changing fridge filters, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy cooking.